Hello everyone. Wow. Welcome for the second episode of this series. Today we will talk about interactives and button. And yes we improved the illustrations. Anyway, if you like this video, you can subscribe, comment, like and share. D this is free and that help the channel a lot. Okay stop talking now let's start. Now I will show you how to link an interactive with a button. However, I must explain to you what an interactive is. An interactive is the object that will be affected by a button pressed by a player. Okay, let's add a button here. So let's see what if the player press the button. Okay, we need add something in the interactive. Is there five things? The first three are string value. The fourth is a number value. The last one is a sound. Okay, let's see what's happened if I add fade in that interactive. Now let's see with the two other values. If you wanna add sound you can. Oops. Last thing is delay. I will do some adjustments to place every buttons. Okay the terrain is ugly I know. We will improve that in the next episode. Also you should not place buttons like that. It's ideal if you don't need to jump to reach a button. However, you still can put the button higher to force the player to jump. Like it could be interesting for a crazy map. Alright. I will add platforms for the second button. You should not place two buttons too close to each other. Hello guys. Yes this is a ladder. Very ugly. The third button will be placed on this rock thing. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment if you like the video. First, duplicate a button. I will place it just after the wall jumps. Okay I place it, now rename it by button 4. Yeah because this is the 4th button. We can create all buttons a group button event also. Deletes one of the three variants in the new variants model. Now remove all content inside both variants. Okay we can move on the next step. Put every buttons to one of the empty variant. Select every buttons again. Then now duplicate them into the second empty variant. Copy the value we have kept. Select every buttons plus click on past into selected. So now we have invariant with buttons with group trigger. And the second one doesn't have group trigger. So yeah, we recreate an all group button event. As you can see we have a little problem right hey, now, yo, what the but no panic. This is really easy to fix. Just copy the position of the button that is right placed. Then duplicate the correct position value in the floating button. Do exactly same thing with other buttons. Okay guys, turning button into a group button is really easy. Add object value inside the button. Rename the value as group. That all. The first interactive will be a simple plank. The plank will appear when button 1 has been pressed. A few moments later. Here's a tip to place the plank correctly. Oh my god! Use a wedge first. Wow! Then just watch. Yeah wedges can be very useful as you can see. Now just place the plank on the wedge. This is better right. Aha. 
put the plank the part 1 select right now into interactive folder. Also, delete this. Add string value inside the plank now. Then rename it by, appear, fader, full, appear, fader, full. In my case this is, appear 1. Also, feel free to add folders. Set transparency to 1 and disable can collide. The platform will appear. You can put multiples parts inside a model as one interactive also. You have to add the value inside the model, not inside each parts inside the model, trust me about that. I add a delay here, the first platform will appear after 1 second. The second platform after 1.5 second. Or after 1. The last one after 2 second. Platform 3 2 second delay Platform 2 1 point So this platform will appear Then the plank will fall At appear, <laughs> appear 4 into platform And fall 4 into plank It is possible to add sound effect when a player interacts with a button I'll show how use it However there are some rules to follow First, add sound here we name it like this. Also listen this. Now you have to find and sound. Get the id and paste it and sounded. Also, to be able to hear the sound, put volume to 3 and not 0.5 xd. In the next episode, I'll start to show build tips. Trust me guys your build skills will improve. Thanks you everyone for watching this video. Okay, goodbye y'all.